Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 152. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 146 to 154. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to take a little database and extract records based on a column. So the blank ones we do not want to extract, and the ones with a value we want to extract. So we really want this record and this record. And obviously, this trick could be applied to a bigger table. We want to extract those. I'm actually going to, uh, we've done this other ways in other videos, but we, you can add an extra column to a data set. So we'll say um, true slash false. Hit Enter. I'm going to actually click on this and uh, go up and get my uh, Format Painter in 2007. It's home and then clipboard. There it is, Format Painter. In 2007, it's on the formatting toolbar. Click on it, and then there it is right there. And then apply it. It gets that formatting. And I'm going to highlight all the way down here and do all borders. Home there. That button is also on the uh, formatting toolbar. And our formula, since we want a true when it gets to this, we could do lots of different formulas here. But what's this one? equals this is not blank. And that will give us um, a true false. Here, this is false. Is this not blank? No, it is blank, so it's a false. And then I'm going to click and drag it down so it gives us a true. And we can see there it's saying, is this not? And not is a less than and a greater than symbol. And blank is uh, double quote, double quote. So is this not blank? We want true. Then we're going to come over here and type, um, actually, I'm just going to copy this Control C and then come over here. And then I'm going to type true here. This will be our criteria for an advanced filter extract. I'm going to click under Data, Data, and I'm going to go to the Sort and Filter group, and then here to Advanced Filter. In 2003, you go to the Data menu, and then Filter, and then Advanced Filter. Now, we want to copy this to another location. That's the very first part. The list range, did it get it right? Yeah, it got it right. Notice our cursor was in that range, just one single cell, so it got it right. If it didn't, then you'd simply highlight it. Uh, the criteria range, we're going to have to click there and then highlight these two cells. And by the way, this title here has to be the same as that, so, no, so the criteria then knows how to go look at the table and, and find the true. We want to copy two, and we want to say click right there. And that's it. Because we've tried type true here, and this is advanced filter, it'll go down this, and every time it sees a true, it'll extract it and put it there. And then you click OK. And there you go. All right, we'll see you next trick.